On the world stage, Canada's green report card has not exactly earned impressive grades. We are seen by many nations as being part of the problem when it comes to climate change. Our position on the environment continues to draw fire from other countries and environmental groups. But as Francis Silvaggio reports tonight, there is a growing demand from ch for change within Canadian borders as well. So, but how many of you were planning on using... There's no escaping climate change, not even in the classroom. I'm just worried about what's gonna, what the world's going to be like in 25, 30 years. Grace O'Connor is a grade 6 student at Calgary Science School. Climate change is now part of the curriculum, not just here, but in almost every school across the country. These are the, the leaders of tomorrow. If they grow up with that perspective, then, then who knows, these may be the students who solve these problems in the future. But some environmental experts worry that by the time they can do something, it could be too late to do anything. While the rest of the world is moving towards dealing with this, we're just going to try to sell our, you know, be hewers of wood and drawers of water in a 21st century age, which is extractors of bitumen and shippers of natural, liquidified natural gas. On a world stage, Canada contributes about 2% of global greenhouse gas. It may not sound like much, but climate change experts say Canada's aggressive expansion of its energy sector actually makes the world more dependent on fossil fuels and less interested in finding alternatives. We really start rapidly transitioning to renewable energy away from fossil fuels. And the more we're making investments in fossil fuel infrastructure, the more difficult we're making that challenge down the, down the road. Energy proponents, though, say global demand is growing daily, and until viable alternatives are available, it would be irresponsible to abandon fossil fuels. But they also say just because they're producing more doesn't mean they care about the environment any less. Canadians want this produced, but they want it produced responsibly. They, say they see the significant, indisputable economic impacts it has, um, but they say, look, the caveat is you need to prove you can responsibly develop this. The oil sands industry says it has reduced the amount of energy needed per barrel by 26% since 1990. It says even with increased production, emissions have remained flat. The problem, though, according to environmental groups, is lack of oversight. An international climate organization recently rated Canada's climate policy the worst in the wealthy world. We have to convince the, the world's largest emitters to commit to a, uh, to a, new, uh, a new regime that will actually uh, fundamentally reduce annual GHG emissions. World leaders agreed earlier this month in Qatar to come up with a global plan by 2015 that would be in place by 2020. It's a long way away and even a grade six student knows that's likely too long. Everybody has to do their thing and if we don't then we're almost doomed. The large ones? Francis Silvaggio, Global News, Calgary.